Hey, seventh graders. Uh, we are looking at the next couple lessons in our chapter on plants. So we're looking at plant structures and plant reproduction. So key questions from lesson three. What are the functions of roots, stems, and leaves? How do seeds become new plants? And what are the structures of a flower? Lesson four, what are the stages of a plant life cycle? How do plants reproduce? So we have first roots. Roots anchor a plant in the ground, absorb water and minerals from the soil, and sometimes store food. A root cap is a structure that covers the tip of a root, protecting the root from injury as the root grows through soil. The stem carries substances between the plant's roots and leaves. The stem also provides support for the plant and holds up the leaves so they are exposed to the sun. Cambium is a layer of cells in a plant that produces new phlegm and xylem cells. Leaves capture the sun's energy and carry out the food making process of photosynthesis. A stomata is a small opening on the underside of a leaf through which oxygen, water, and carbon dioxide um, enter. So transpiration is the process by which water is lost through a plant's leaves. Inside a seed is a partially developed plant. If a seed lands in an area where conditions are favorable, the plant sprouts out of the seed and begins to grow. An embryo is the young organism that develops from a zygote. Germination is the sprouting of the embryo out of a seed. It occurs when the embryo resumes its growth following dormancy. Flower is the reproductive structure of an angiosperm. A typical flower constrains sepals, petals, stamens, and pistils. Pollination is the transfer of pollen from male reproductive structures to female reproductive structures in plants. Sepals are a leaf-like structure that encloses and protects the buds of the flower. Uh, petals are a colorful leaf-like structure of some flowers. Stamens are the male reproductive part of a flower. Pistils are the female reproductive part. An ovary is a flower structure that encloses and protects ovules and seeds as they develop. Lesson four, plants have complex life cycles that include two different stages, the sporophyte stage and the gamete fight stage. Sporophyte is the stage in the life cycle of a plant in which the plant produces spores. Gametophyte is the stage in the life cycle of a plant in which the plant produces gametes or cells, sex cells. Annuals are a flowering plant that completes its life cycle in one growing season. Biennials, a flowering plant that completes its life cycle in two years. And perennials, a flowering plant that lives for more than two years. So all plants undergo sexual reproduction that involves fertilization. Fertilization is the process in sexual reproduction in which an egg cell and a sperm cell join to form a new cell. A zygote is a fertilized egg produced by the joining of a sperm and an egg. Cones are the reproductive structure of a gymnosperm. Ovule, a plant structure in seed plants that produces the female gametophyte and it contains an egg cell. Fruit is the ripened ovary and other structures of an angiosperm that enclose one or more seeds. Our vocabulary, we have root cap, cambium, stomata, transpiration, embryo, um, germination, flower, pollination, sepals, petals, stamens, pistils, ovary, sporophyte, gametophyte, annuals, biennials, perennials, fertilization, zygote, cones, ovule, and fruit. So please complete the Edmodo questions for lessons three to four. Let me know if you have any questions on the lesson or the assignment and have a great day.